Hey guys, <clears throat> Tactical Minds here, and uh, tonight's kind of a late night video. Um, sometimes got to get them in uh, when we can, right? <clears throat> but uh, tonight I want to talk about a serious uh, topic. You know, I so said we can try to cover more current events, especially um, as it relates to this channel. Um, and tonight I want to talk about the shooting that just took place in Uvalde, Texas. Um, I'm sure everyone knows by now, you know, uh, 19 children killed, uh, you know, two adults, um, just a horrible, tragic shooting. And, um, you know, of course, politicians and celebrities, they're going to take this opportunity to try to exploit it for their own personal and political gain, um, which I think is just disgusting and horrible. But um, tonight, I just want to talk about it and some facts and what I think we could do to help better prevent things like this from happening um, in the future. So um, we're not going to do our whole usual rigmarole of, you know, if you like this video and all that nonsense, we're not going to do that tonight. It's a very serious topic, right? Um, <clears throat> so first and foremost, I will say this. Um, if you're the kind of person that is, uh, you know, strict gun control, if you're the kind of person that still believes the AR and AR-15 stands for assault rifle or automatic rifle or anything like that, then I would go ahead and not watch this video because you're probably not going to be able to open your mind to what I'm going to say. You're just going to be closed minded and you're going to make every excuse in the book to push that political narrative. OK, um, however, I think most of my viewers are uh, open minded and I think can listen to this with an open mind. Um, so first things first, you know, everybody's wanting to push this this gun control and stuff like that. Right. <clears throat> Let's talk facts. OK, facts for you know, a moment here. Okay. Bad people and people who don't care about the law are going to do bad shit. Simple as that. They're, they're, they're going to. People who don't care about the law are going to break the law regardless. Okay. The law only applies to good law abiding citizens that actually care. Okay. Fact, you know, rape is illegal. Still happens every day in this country. Driving drunk is illegal, yet people still get killed by drunk drivers every day in this country. Murder, carrying a gun to school, illegal, yet as we see time and time again, people are still getting hurt, okay? Putting more laws in place and making more things illegal doesn't fix the problem. These things are already illegal, okay? It's already illegal to drive drunk, yet 28 people on average every day get killed in the United States from drunk driving. So what are we supposed to do? ban everyone's driver's license. No one's allowed to drive a car anymore because cars kill people every day, right? It, these things are already illegal. If you're going to make the conscious decision to get in a car and drive drunk and take somebody's life into your hands, especially your own, possibly someone else's, you're going to do it. You don't care. You've already made that decision. If you're going to rape somebody, you're not going to stop because you see it's a rape-free zone, okay? You've already done it. You've made that decision facts, okay? Evil is evil. If you're going to go somewhere with an intention on harming somebody and shooting somebody, you're not going to go and see a gun-free zone and stop and go, oh, wait a minute. Oh, what am I doing? It's against the law. Facts, okay? Evil is evil. As a matter of fact, most people don't want to talk about the fact that a lot of these killers who are absolute fucking cowards pick gun-free zones. And the reason they pick gun-free zones is because, again, they're cowards and they know nobody else there is carrying a weapon that can stop them, that can defend themselves and stop loss of life. That's why a lot of them pick these places, okay? Because they know if they did pick a place where there are good you know, men and women carrying concealed weapons and are prepared to defend their brothers and sisters in battles, they know they're not going to stand up against them because once the bullets start flying back at them, nine out of 10 times, they don't want to be part of the situa situation anymore. They're cowards, plain and simple, okay? The only thing, and I've said this time and time again, again, guys, the only thing that stops a bad person with a gun is a good person with a gun, okay? I guarantee myself, whether I was still in law enforcement or not, or thousands of other people that are, you know, good people out there that carry guns and believe in defending themselves and their family and life, liberty and property and all that stuff would have absolutely 1,010% stood up and put this freaking animal down, okay? They would have 1,010% done it. I guarantee you, if I was there, I would have done it. I don't care what kind of weapon the guy has, I would have engaged him, and I know thousands of others would have as well. But because it's a gun-free zone, there was no good guys with guns there. There's bad guys. Now, there was a Border Patrol agent who showed up on scene, a Bortac agent, who was the one that rushed in and ended up taking the life of the shooter, and thank God for him for acting selflessly 
and putting his own life in harm's way and going in there and, you know, taking care of it and putting this animal down. And I say animal, and I'm not going to take that term away. This kid was evil. Okay. People that do this are evil. They're animals. But again, evil doesn't abide by laws. Evil doesn't know any laws. Evil is going to be evil regardless. Like I said, the only thing that stops a bad person with a gun is a good person with a gun. So that being said, um, I'm not going to go anymore into the rant on that because, you know, you're either, you either at this point get it or you don't. All right. There's everybody these days is so divided. Nobody wants to listen to one side or the other. Everyone's either it's black or it's white. It's this or it's that. So I'm not going to sit there and waste my breath trying to talk to people. Um, if, if you're somebody that is willing to listen and is open to it, you, you understand, you get it by now. What I will say is I will address um, all my people out there that are concealed carry holders. I've said this in previous videos before, and I'm going to say it again. Guys, this is why I say, please don't look for an excuse why not to carry. Stop with the excuse of it's, it's not comfortable. If it's not comfortable, get yourself a more comfortable concealed carry weapon. I don't care. Train with it more often. Get looser pants, whatever. Get a different holster. Don't come up with an excuse to not carry your weapon, okay? Don't just say, oh, well, I'm just going here, so I don't need it. I'm just going there. I don't need it. I'm just going here. It doesn't happen over here. Chuck E. Cheese is safe. Church is safe. This is safe. These days, nowhere safe, okay? If you're a concealed carry holder and you believe in defending yourself and good people and defending others, please, guys, carry. Carry your weapon, okay? Carry it because if we would have had someone there that would have been a concealed carry holder that, you know, believed in doing good, I, I, I think a lot of loss of life could have been prevented. The fact of the matter is, you know, we need to have more good guys with guns out there. And I would definitely put them more towards schools. Um, that's my opinion. I'm sure it's very controversial to some people, but I would absolutely do that. Okay. We need more good people with guns out there to stop the evil. This, this, this absolutely, you know, could have been prevented at least a little bit. Okay. Understand guys, when stuff like this happens and we're relying solely on law enforcement to show up. Okay. Law enforcement can take 45 seconds to 15 minutes in, in a gunfight in, in a situation like that. 45 seconds is enough time for a massive amount of loss of life. Okay. Each second counts. You don't always have the time to afford to wait for law enforcement. Just like I've said before, if you're in your home and someone's breaking down your door, you're going to go to the furthest corner of your house, retreat, lock the door and hope they don't come through that, you know, barricade and, and, and end up hurting you and your family. You don't have time to wait for law enforcement to show up. You need to be able to defend yourself and defend others around you. Okay. We don't have that luxury of wait. Like I said, in seconds, Horrible things can happen, okay? A shit sandwich is the same thing every time, guys. You always got more shit than you do freaking bread, okay? So like I said, please, if you're a concealed carry holder, you know, carry your weapon, guys. You know, train with your weapon. We, we, we need to be better prepared and we need to be, you know, more combative and help to stop, you know, tragedies like this happening. Again, my heart goes out to, you know, the, the, the families that have lost their, their loved ones and, and these children. It's, it's horrible. It's gut-wrenching. I, I can't even imagine for a moment losing a child. It's, it's, it's an awful, horrible thing. So my thoughts and prayers go out to all those families. You know, it, it, it really does, guys. I just want to use this, you know, to, to, to express to you guys, you know, what, what we need to do to, to help further prevent these tragedies. All right, guys. Anyway, that's the video. Hope you guys have a good night. Talk to you soon.